Hi everyone, in front of me I've got Moto G45 and let me show with you how to turn off ads and their personalizations. All right, so let's begin with the uh, personalized uh, the um, the personalized ID. We have to go to the settings. Here, let's scroll down to the very bottom actually to find Google and then tap on all services. You do not have to be logged in to be able to do that. So just tap on all services, then scroll and find the ads. And right here, we've got two different things which I highly recommend to do. So first of all, we have to reset advertising ID and then remove it completely. Basically, that operation will not limit the advertisements. You have to be aware about aware about that but it will reset your adv advertising id which means that those adverts won't be advertisements uh, won't be that personalized and won't show you um, the specific content uh, which is uh, attractive for you let's say so first of all let's begin with the reset advertising id tap on confirm and then tap on delete advertising ID. And obviously here you've got all of those information I've just told you. So just tap on delete advertising ID and as you can see, it will um, be deleted immediately. Another thing which I highly recommend to do is to consider um, changing the apps which you're frequently using, especially those which are showing you the advertisements. So for example, if you see a lot of adverts on your browser, then I highly recommend to try to replace it with the browser with the ad block. All you have to do is to open the Play Store, make sure that you've got the internet connection and I highly recommend to use Wi-Fi instead of mobile data. And of course, make sure that you've got your Google account added to the device. If you're not sure how to do it, you can check our tutorial of how to add or remove a Google account here in this Motorola. So just open the uh, Play Store and here in this section, I highly recommend to tap on search, which is um, which is right here. Tap on search and here enter ad block or something similar. And as you can see here, you've got the Adblock browser, you've got the Adblock uh, for um, for content blocker, uh, private proxy browser again, and block apps and sites, etc. Mute annoying ads. As you can see, we've got plenty of options to choose from and to test. Um, and I highly recommend to choose uh, to choose those which are highly rated, obviously, because usually they are the best. So uh, first of all, uh, the ad blocker. And secondly, um, you can try to download the apps which are free from the advertisements in a replacement to other apps which you're using. So for example, it's just an example. If you're using the file manager, which shows you a lot of stuff, a lot of advertisements, you can try to simply find um, a third party app, file manager, which you can download and use instead of that specific um, of that specific uh, oh my god of that specific app which you've got currently installed. That's what I wanted to show you. And as you can see uh, here, we've got a lot of apps which we can use instead. Moreover, you can try to hide the notifications which are connected with the advertisements from the specific app. So for example, let's pretend that I'm getting a lot of, I'm receiving a lot of notifications from the Play Store. So let's tap on it and hold it and then tap on App Info. Here we've got notifications and as you can see, they are divided into different categories. So for example, we've got um, payments, deals and recommendations, which can be counted as advertisements. Uh, we've got play protect, required, uh, security and errors. As you can see, a lot of categories, which we can also open. We can tap on payments and deals and here we've got more options and I highly recommend to simply turn them off just by using this switcher here or uh, here just tap on it and uh, your device will uh, will limit the notifications which are connected with the advertisements. Of course, if you will find relevant notification uh, category in the specific app, because sometimes it will not show you that. And uh, as a last resort, which is really, um, really uh, successful in this in the usage is to set the private DNS. So just go to the settings. Uh, here we have to scroll to find network and internet. 
and here we've got this option private DNS. So usually it is set on this automatic option. Uh, let's tap on private DNS provider hostname and all you have to enter here is dns.adguard.com and tap on save. And uh, as you can see, it will be set, uh, which means that your device will block the advertisements. Uh, be aware because sometimes you will not be able to open a specific website, but that's okay. Just come back to this section, set the private DNS to the automatic one, then search or browse or whatever. And after that, just come back to this private DNS and set the agart. All right, so that will be all. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and leave the thumbs up.